What's up everybody? This is Prefix Wiz coming at you with another Unity tutorial and continuing our series with the Unity GUI. Today we're going to talk about the text. Double digit the text. Let's go ahead and open up Unity and in the hierarchy let's go ahead and right click and let's create a UI text. All right. And up here in the upper left corner of the scene tab, let's go ahead and click on 2D so we have a better view. Let's click on text. And we're going to move the text to the center of the canvas. Go ahead and increase the width and height and recenter it. Okay. So let's go ahead and click on text and take a look at the inspector view. We have a rec transform, which is standard on the 2D UI objects. And right below that, we have a canvas render. That's also standard. And right below that, we have the text component. Now, the text component, anything that relates to text, we can change it here. So let's go ahead and increase the font size just so you can see text on the screen there. And let's go ahead and type in a something new. We'll type in prefix with. You can see that we changed the text. Again, we can change the size. We have uh, the font we can change as well. So if you were to click that and you had other fonts, you can just drag other fonts in from uh, various locations across the web or uh, your own font database that you have on your computer. You can drag new fonts in and you can just simply click on that font and that font will change to or this text will change to that font. All right. And below that, you have the font style. Of course, you have your normal, your bold, your italic and of course, your bold and italic. All right, and then you have your line spacing. So let's go ahead and space this out a little bit more. And what we're, we're going to do is drop the font size down to about 50 so you can see that. And up in the text box, we are going to hit enter for a new line and type prefix with again. Okay, so notice that there's supposedly one space in here. So if we were to increase this, so this is how we increase and decrease the space in between lines. And let's put line spacing back at one. Just below line spacing, we have what we call rich text. Rich text allows us to use general HTML tags. So for instance, if we were to change prefix with, with the bold HTML tags, and we hit rich text, we will see that the actual lettering for creating the bold HTML will convert it to actually become bold. Below rich text, we have alignment. Okay, we have left, center, and right, we have top, middle, and bottom. Then we have aligned by a geometry. To be honest with you, I think that you should leave this alone. However, it's supposed to be able to line up a little bit more precise on the rec transform. Now you have your horizontal overflow. You can use wrap or overflow. So let's go ahead and use wrap at the moment. Now, since it's on wrap, if we were to choose wrap and we type too many characters within the box and it'll actually keep going, but it'll still stay within the bounds of the text box. However, if we then switch it to overflow, you will see that it'll go from left to right, but it will actually extend past the bounds of the text box like so. Vertical overflow is the same concept. If we were to go back to wrap on the horizontal overflow, overflow obviously means it's going to extend outside of the text box. Now, best fit means it will try to resize the text based on how much space is left in the text box. It will stay between the minimum, which is 20 here. The maximum, let's put it at 300 here. And let's just change this to single A. And you'll notice that that A is going to be as large as it can possibly be, out passing 300, the maximum, and it will scale down a minimum of 20 before it no longer renders. And then of course we have color and this changes the text color and opacity. And if you want to do assign uh, the text a material, you can do so here. So let's say we were to create a material and we're going to go ahead and set that to teal. And then we're going to place the teal material right in the material slot. Okay, and, and this allows you to use the use of shaders. And there's different types of shaders for different scenarios or different situations. 
And then you have recast hit. And basically by toggling this, you're asking if the text box itself and everything within the box is able to be hit by a raycast. And that's the Unity GUI text in a nutshell. And as always, I appreciate you watching this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.